So metaraminol, um, a commonly used drug on ITU and in theatres. We're going to have a look at presentation, mechanism of action, usages and the effects of metaraminol itself. So let's start off with presentation. It's a clear solution. It comes in an ampule of normally 10 milligrams per ml and that's often diluted up to 20 mils of 0.9% sodium chloride when used in anaesthesia. On the ITU, commonly, it's diluted as uh, 30 milligrams of metaraminol in 60 mils of 0.9% sodium chloride, which, as I said before, is often used as an infusion. When we're looking at the mechanism of action, it's a synthetic amine. It has indirect and direct sympathomyometic properties. It's mainly an alpha-1 adrenoreceptor agonist, but it does have some limited beta adrenoreceptor effects. And classically, it works on the cellular membrane. It's a G-linked protein receptor um, mechanism. It's a GQ protein, which leads to an increase of phospholipase C, which leads to increased uh, IP3 levels. And then the end point is increased calcium, which leads to vasoconstriction. So metaraminol is often used for the control of um, anesthesia, um, induced hypotension normally as a 0.5 milligram bolus or essentially one mil bolus of your um, normal normally prepared syringe. It's also frequently used for epidural induced hypotension and as we said before on the ITU it can be used in the management of blood pressure where you only have peripheral access or you're trying to be sparing with your use of NORAD. The overall effects of metraminol commonly are that it, because you get that increase in intracellular calcium, you get vasoconstriction, which leads to an increase in systemic vascular resistance, which the end point being is an increase in blood pressure. Subsequently, you can also get a drop in heart rate and you can get a drop in cardiac output associated with metraminol also.